He gives you the cash, he so does give you the cash. He will get money from his video, he will do what he can. My name is Starky Booty 32 and I want to tell you all a painful story that occurred just recently, which was possibly one of the most painful experiences in my life. Now, I've had a lot of painful experiences throughout my life and a lot of injuries in my time on this earth throughout my 17 years of being alive, but I think this one may have trumped them all and is possibly the most painful experience I've had. So, the other day, on Tuesday, I decided to go to the beach just to get outside and have some fun in the sun and by the water. We had no school that day as it was the Melbourne Cup, which was a public holiday, so I decided that I wanted to go to the beach just to get out and have some leisure. My dad drove me to the beach all the way to Williamstown, which is a beach located near Melbourne, and when we got there, we walked all the way down from a street and down to the shore. It was a beautiful day at the time, and because of that, there were lots of people who were crowding the beach and wanting to enjoy the sunshine on the sand with their kids. Too many people were on the sand and overcrowding the area, so rather than going to the crowded area, I walked up by the rocks just to pass some time. My dad then suggested for me to get into the water down by the rocks as the beach was overcrowded, and I decided to just to have a bit of a swim down in the water just to cool off from the blazing sun. So I climbed down on some rails which were next to the rocks and got into the water around the rocks. The water was really cold and shivering but I could handle that as I'm usually used to the cold. Although there were sharp rocks that were at the bottom which I avoided by putting my feet up until I stepped on something. I didn't notice what I had stepped on at first when I was swimming out away from the rocks, but then when I looked at my foot and noticed that it hurt, there was some barbs seemingly stuck in the bottom of my right foot from a sea urchin. My dad then brought me out of the water and decided to take me to the lifeguards to see if we could get these barbs out of my foot, but then there was this one guy who was nearby who said to put your foot in hot water and that draws the barbs out, but don't use a needle because that will break them in side. So we then rushed back to the car. I walked just fine on my left foot but had to walk on the side of my right foot and we headed on back home. My dad first bathed my foot in hot water like the guy at the beach said and he then tried to use a needle after that to get the barbs from the sea urchin out but the pain from that was extremely excruciating. I just couldn't bear it and there had to be another less painful way to remove these barbs from my foot. So we then went on to Google and YouTube and searched up how to remove sea urchin barbs. Some information on Google said to use vinegar and that dissolves them and I even saw a YouTube video of someone using a needle to pick the barbs out. I then told my dad about the vinegar method to get the barbs out of my foot and I bathed my foot in some vinegar for a while. After being in vinegar for some time my foot got all wrinkly and pruney and then I decided to pick some of the barbs out myself. It was much easier to pick them out myself rather than my dad doing it because I can feel where it is and know where the pain threshold is when doing so and after bathing my foot in vinegar and hot water for a bit I then managed to use a needle to pick three of the barbs out of my foot. There were two that I picked out of my little toe with the needle and there was also one that I picked out from the bottom of my foot. After I managed to pick out the one barb that was in my bottom of my foot I then tried to get out the other one in the bottom of my foot out, but to no avail. I tried to put the needle around the barb to pick it out, but only the top part of it was visible, and it was extremely painful to dig out around it when getting it out. So, I then just left it in there because of how tiring the process of it was getting it out, because I spent like four hours trying to get the barbs out, and I then decided to give it some time and wait for a few days to see what would happen. Right now, as I'm making this video, 
video, I still have like one or, one or two barbs from that nasty sea urchin left in my right foot. And whenever I walk, I always walk on the side of my right foot, but my left foot is fine and I can walk normally on it. There were also some barbs in my left foot that I managed to get out, but they were in the side and not on the bottom. And my left foot is okay as of now. And I will say it's painful walking on the right side of my foot, especially when walking long distances. But I'm going to have to live through this pain for a while before managing to get those other two barbs out of it. And I will just say this, that sea urchins are nasty little things which can surprise you when you go for a swim at the beach. This is the first time in my life one has ever got me and they can leave you with painful pricks in your foot for quite a while if you don't manage to get them out. This is the most painful thing that has ever happened to me and next time I go to Williamstown I am never going for a swim down by the rocks again but only around the main sandy part of the beach where it's clear of sea urchins and where I'm safe from going through this pain again. I hope in the next few days I can get the last few barbs out of my foot despite the fact that they're very deep. I just need to dig around the area where they are until a little black think is visible and pop them out because I don't want to walk on the side of my right foot for the rest of my life with the spine from a pesky sea urchin in there. If I don't manage to get the spine out on my own, I'm going to have to go to a doctor to get it surgically removed, which might be the most likely scenario in this case. But that was my experience of stepping on a sea urchin, the most painful experience in my life by far. And I hope this doesn't happen to any of you watching this video because it's literal hell and it really does cause a lot of pain with walking as well as trying to remove the barbs with a needle. Wish me luck for when I get the rest of the barbs finally removed. My name is Starky Booty 32 I'm one of the best people on YouTube.